young people, well, first of all, interest. And that the people that care about this, that already have experience, that already have a good institutional base, approach these young people that are interested. They have the enthusiasm, they have the will, they know that it's important, but they might not know all the little details. And then people with experience can help young people focus their efforts correctly in things like restoration. I think you need to do it in a fun way because the reason why youth are being called out of rural areas because now we have so many distractions. With the internet, we, we see there's all these cool things in the cities and not in rural areas. We need to find a way to make this integration between generations fun and to make agriculture and nature fun for everyone. Something that is attractive, that people want to do. What I've actually learned from the older people in my family is that we need to change and that a lot of this change is not happening because we just don't have the will because we have very, very internally ingrained habits. And I think the new generation is paying attention to this and this is changing, but there's a lot of resistance from the older generation to make these changes. I think it's very important that you have local species that you're using because what I've seen in the field a lot is that you introduce species that might be regionally local but they're not adapted to the specific region which this can happen a lot in mountainous regions where soil and climate can change quite quickly you put this relatively exotic plants in and they die a lot at least in the case of mexico where we've had experience local communities notice that the plants that other other institutions bring they have a higher mortality rate and when they start experimenting with the seeds from their trees in that land, they have a much higher survival rate. In the case of seeds in Mexico, there is a lot of exchange of seeds traditionally. Communities have done this for a very long time. That's why we are the center of origin for so many important agricultural species, especially corn. Corn is so relevant for all the world. And it's very important to strengthened that communities continue to do this and they are not influenced by the seeds that are provided by government and external companies that in many times they can have a greater yield but at the cost of losing diversity and we know with climate change and with all these changes that we have to adapt to having diversity is super important so First of all, I would say those economic incentives, you can focus them on conservation through, for example, payment for ecosystem services or whatever else there is. And in the case of restoration, I think you can give youth and young people a chance to have a good job that means something and that is economically viable for them. So I think here there's a big opportunity to, Im to involve youth. When I was doing my thesis in Paraguay, I compared how different land uses interact. And one of the land uses was a restoration project. And it was interesting to see that the farmers were interested in restoration and in trees because wood was getting very expensive in the region. So they would want forest in the land for their cattle. And that was very interesting because cattle, as we know, it's a very important deforestation driver. But in this case, it was a reason to keep some forest in their land. So it's, I think it's very important that we see this, how different land uses compete or how they can have synergies even if they're not obvious at first.